we all have so much potential in our lives. We all have so much potential in what we can accomplish and what we can do. Many, many of us don't even get anywhere close to using our full potential and using our capabilities in our lives to accomplish what we want to accomplish. You know, we have an amazing supercomputer. Bigger, faster, stronger, more capable than any computer ever built, even by Steve Jobs or whoever's out there building big computers. It's right up here. The human mind is the biggest, most powerful human supercomputer there is. And we all have one. They say we only use 10% of our mind, our brain. Well, it's not really true. We use a lot of percent of our brain, but most of it just makes our body function. We only use 10% of our conscious brain, and that's that sad. We can do a lot better. The key to success is using this supercomputer that we have to as much of its potential as, as is possible that we can in order to achieve what we want. This computer that we have controls everything that we do, everything that we feel, everything that we think, and all of the actions that we take. And you know what? You get to decide what you learn and how far you can take that and how far you can go with what you learn. But we all have these barriers. Barriers come up in our lives all the time. And a lot of the barriers we impose on ourselves. It's, it's what we think. It's what we feel. It's what we believe. That's the first barrier that you need to overcome is belief. You need to believe. People don't believe that they can learn what they need to know. That they can do more than they are doing today. That they can have more in their life. Or that they can be more. They just don't believe it. It's all belief. It's all false. You can be more as long as you believe it. You have a huge capacity to learn. And there's the saying, what the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. So if you can conceive something you want in your life and you believe it strong enough, you can achieve it because then you'll figure out how. The next barrier that you need to overcome is just the barrier of knowledge. You know, we, we all think if you read it on the internet or if you read it on social media, it's got to be true, right? <laughs> no, it's mostly not. If you want to, to, to use this supercomputer you have to its fullest capacity, you need to get knowledge. You need to read books, listen to podcasts, listen to audiobooks. You can listen to my audiobook, The Success Grower. Go get it on Audible, Amazon the success grower and listen to it it's changing people's lives because it's teaching them how they can achieve the goals that they want and it teaches you that you have to believe that you can you need to get experiences in your life knowledge comes from experiences that we have knowledge comes from the people that we associate with get around people who are smarter than you who are working harder than you who are farther ahead than you and learn from them you just need to go get the right knowledge, not somebody's opinion. You know, social media is nothing but opinion, and it's nothing but becoming a lot of hate speech. So you need to take the responsibility and put in the effort to go get the right knowledge and don't listen to other people's opinions. When you get this knowledge, you need to test it out. Make sure it's good knowledge, that it works. You need to weigh it to make sure it's valuable, that it has value, that it is truly going to do what it says it'll do. You need to measure it to see if it's true, to see if it's accurate, to see if it will get you where you want to go. Don't just take it and believe it. You need to test it. You need to measure it and then apply it to your life. Go out and do it. You need to have a desire for learning. You need to learn ways to change your life, to change your finances, to change your relationships, to change your business. You need to get fired up about learning because it will change your life. The more you learn, the more the supercomputer goes to work for you because you have more information and more knowledge. Study. you got to study, but it takes discipline. It takes time. You have to put in the work. It takes effort. It's hard work. You've got to study to get this knowledge so that you can grow in your career. You can grow in your business. You need to read. You need to listen to people. Listen to podcasts. Listen to, to videos. 
Make sure you review it to make sure it's good information. Apply it to your life and get the experiences that you can in your life. And then as you go along, you can review how it's going and adjust as you need to adjust so that it doesn't just fall apart because things change and you'll have to adjust your methods as you go along. You need to be able to, to discipline yourself to learn so that you can get the knowledge that you need and unlock the new potential that you have inside of you just waiting to come out as long as you put in the nutrients, the learning, the nutrition into your mind, which is the learning you need to know to advance and to grow. Jim Rohn, one of my favorite authors, speakers, success guys, said learning is possible no matter what your age. You are never too young or too old. Your mind was created to learn and has a huge capacity to do so. We don't use our minds near to the capacity we should. So for today, for this weekend, what is it you want to learn? What is it you want to do in your life, in your business? Where do you want to go? Commit to learning how to get there and believe that you can. Go learn what you need to learn and believe that you can do it and then act on it and go do it. It's that simple. Not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. It's that simple. I'm Mark Schenner coming to you on Friday, the first week of 2021 the end of the work week, Friday with your Friday focus. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.